What's up YouTubers, welcome back to the channel for another video. Um, on this video I'm going to show you my my pickups from Severin Films. Uh, this past summer they had a, a, a summer sale, so I got three titles. Plus I got some pre-orders that, that just came in today. So uh, I'm going to show you those. So without further ado, man, let's, let's jump right to it. Okay, so yeah, um, these three were my pickups for the summer sale that I got, and these were the pre-orders. Let's uh, dive into the, the summer sales first. Um, so yeah, I got Attack 4Z. This is uh, an Italian, I mean, not Italian, I'm sorry, excuse me, Australian film. This is an Australian film. Uh, it has Mel Gibson and Sam Neill. Those are the recognizable uh, actors. Well, John Philip Law, I also um, remember him. So yeah, this is uh, just uh, a. Uh, there's nothing uh, fancy about this packaging. You know, just a simple, no slip cover or anything. I think, uh, but yeah, I remember watching this uh, a long time ago. Um, and yeah, so looking forward to rewatching it. I like Mel Gibson. I like Sam Neill. I like all the the, the actors in this film. Um, let's take a look at the back. There's a very young Mel Gibson right there. Yeah, so, yeah, this has been a long time since I've seen it. Uh, so, yeah, looking looking forward to watching this one. Attack for Z. Um, so, yeah, now let's... Uh, uh, Anthropophagus. Now, this is an Italian horror film directed by Joe D'Amato. Uh, this one is also known as The Grim Reaper. Uh, take a look at the back. Yeah, this is a this is very graphic, guys. I mean, this is an Italian film. It's very graphic, very gory. Uh, it's not for everybody. Um, uh, I know that uh, a lot of people won't watch this because of the crap of uh, violent and you know it's very graphic. Um, and it does have reversible artwork and and there's the reversible artwork and like I said, you know. Um, this one is also known as the Grim Reaper. So that's the reversible artwork. And same thing in the back. But yeah, uh, it's basically about these people in an island, you know, on a, uh, on a trip. And there's a cannibalistic killer, you know, um, you know, killing them one by one. So yeah, it's very graphic. And this is another Italian film directed by the same director as uh, Anthropophagus, Joe D'Amato. Uh, this one is not as graphic as Anthropophagus, but he tried to he tried to be try to make this film like more like American style, but it's still um, it's still a little bit graphic though. But yeah, he tried to kind of do like a Halloween type of uh, type of film, but I don't know. The fans didn't really really go for this one. I mean, they I guess they wanted the more the gore and all that stuff. Uh, and here are the discs right there. This is a the soundtrack. This is a the CD, and there's the 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 film, the nice disc art there. Uh, this does have reversible artwork as well. Let me reverse it. Yeah, I believe this is the Italian the Italian cover, and the other one's the American, I believe. So yeah, uh, I saw both of these. Uh, Anthropophagus and Observe. I saw them both on Tubi, and but you know they were they were okay. They weren't bad. Really. Graphic, yeah, they are graphic, but I still kind of enjoy them. All right, now for the pre-orders. Let's take these out. Yeah, there are only three that came in. We got a sticker there by Severin. All right, so we got uh, we got Nightmare. We got the Sidekick. This is by directed by the late great Lucio Fulci, another Italian director. Uh, and this one is it's not really Maniac Two. So let's open these up um, so I can show you. Let me pause it. Let me pause the video really quick and so I can open these. Okay, so let's uh, take a look at the first one. Um, this one's called Nightmare, I believe. This is another Italian uh, Italian slasher film. Uh, this one's also kind of gory. Uh, I was waiting for this one to get a release. It was uh, released by 
I don't know if it was Scorpion releasing or Code Red years back, but it's out of print. But now Severin uh, re-released it on 4K, so it's it's great. Uh, this is a 4K release. This is the the actual um, artwork that I remember, you know, at the video store in the horror section. I mean, I remember that. I've seen this movie. Uh, yeah, it's kind of it is kind of graphic. It is kind of gory. Kills are insane, um, but it's very good. It's a very good movie. Uh, so yeah, it's uh, Nightmare. It's also uh, titled uh, Nightmare in a Damaged Brain. So um, so it comes with a booklet. Yeah, so some of the pic some of the pictures are kind of graphic. Um, take a look at the discs. Oh my goodness! Oh, this thing came off for some reason. Okay, there we go. All right, so we got um, the 4K Ultra HD. I believe this is the Blu-ray, and this is the the extras or the soundtrack. I'm not sure. And let's check out if it has a reversible artwork. And yes, it does. There's the other the other title, Nightmares in a Damaged Brain. So yeah, I, I kind of know it as Nightmare. That's what I know it as. So I'm going to go with Nightmare. Yeah, here we go. Alright, so next up we got um, The Psychic. This is uh, by the directed by the late great uh, Lucio Fulci. Very good, well, one of the best Italian directors. Uh, him and uh, David Argento are my favorites. Um, and here's the the artwork. Oh, first, let's take a look at the booklet first. Yeah, I'm afraid that some of these might show something that I'm not supposed to show on here, so I don't know. So I gotta be very careful. Alright. <clears throat> Alright, so we got um, the 4K Ultra HD. We got the Blu-ray. And the additional extras on this one. Now, let's see. Does it have a reversible artwork? Yeah, it does. It has reversible artwork. I guess that's the Italian uh, artwork, I guess. Yeah. Now I'm going to go ahead and um, reverse it back. I think I like this one better. more American I guess and there we go the psychic all right and last but not least uh, this is not maniac 2 uh, Severin sometimes does this like they you know they did it with uh, what was it called um, there was another movie that they 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 used a slip cover as a Terminator 2. What movie was that? I, I, uh, Shocking Dark. I think it was Shocking Dark or something like that. And they used uh, the Terminator 2 and and then Night Killer. They used the slipcover as Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3. And so this one, they're using it as Maniac 2. I don't know why Severin does that, but it's actually called uh, The Last Horror Film. It does have this. It does feature the same um, director, Joe Spinell, that came out in Maniac. So he's on here, too. And here's the booklet. And this one I've seen, uh, <clears throat> I saw a long time ago. So then we have the, the Blu-ray and the, the 4K Ultra HD. Let me see if it's got, this one does not have any reversible artwork. So it doesn't have reversible artwork. So yeah, this is the last, uh, it's called the last horror film. It has... Nothing to do with Maniac or Maniac 2, I don't know, but Severin sometimes does that. 
so yeah um those were my latest additions from severin films um yeah like i said you know um these th these right here were from the sale and i got these a long time ago but i was waiting for the pre-orders to come in so i can do the whole uh a video of the whole pickups you know so yeah um so hope you all um like the like the video that is it guys those were my 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 latest uh, pickups from severin films uh they usually have a sale from time to time like i think like in november they might have they usually have a black friday sale you know kind of the same time as uh vinegar syndrome so um so yeah that would be the next sale there's a couple of titles from severin that i uh that i want to pick up so uh again you know thanks for watching i really appreciated you sticking around um if you haven't already you know uh, subscribe to the channel uh hit that bell for more upcoming videos i really appreciate that guys and if you like the video man give me a thumbs up let me know what you think of severin i mean do you guys are familiar with the with the label do you guys pick up any titles from severin i mean you know uh it, they're a hit or miss you know sometimes their movies are kind of like eh, but you know sometimes they're releasing some pretty good stuff so again, you know, stay safe, stay healthy, and till next time, guys, see ya.